Well, that's an important question because the biggest problem we face in the infertility world clinically is women who are over 40 because when you're young, uh, you have a lot of eggs in your 20s and actually the fertility of each egg is very good. Uh, ironically, even in teenagers, they're the most fertile people on the planet. Uh, the, uh, but when you reach the age of 40 and older, and you finally have your affairs in order, and you've achieved your career, and you're ready now to have babies, or you've met the right person for a partner, uh, which is what's happening in the modern era, we're all planning to live to 100, but uh, the ovary doesn't know that, and uh, so uh, the eggs are not as fertile. And so we have a special techniques and approaches for that that I think are really important and they're unusual. First is mini IVF. It's really, really important not to overstimulate with huge doses of hormones, particularly in older women and, and any woman, but particularly in older women. This is a disaster because you're not going to get any more eggs that way. If we give a nice low dose uh, you know, of hormones for stimulation, a really low dose, You'll get just as many eggs, but you'll get much better quality eggs. So one patient just reminded me this week uh, of an example I gave. It's somewhere on my website a long time ago. I thought of it. If you're under an apple tree and you shake the tree, the very best ripe apples that are ready to eat are going to fall down. Uh, that's one approach to eating an apple from an apple tree. The other approach is chop down the whole tree and look around, and most of those apples aren't ready to be eaten. And that's kind of an example of what happens when you try to stimulate a huge number of eggs and you're getting poor quality eggs. So mini IVF is a way of getting four to five times higher baby rate per egg. And that's the approach, minimal stimulation uh, and it's more complicated than that because we want to be able to get your own pituitary LH rather than exogenous HCG uh, to uh, promote egg quality. And the FSH is just uh, for uh, recruiting eggs, uh, for uh, follicle development. We don't need much FSH and uh, we need a tiny amount of LH. And if you have the right amount of the right hormones, you get much better quality eggs. So that's how we have actually very good results with women over 40.